of course, we all know that to lose weight, you have to exercise and be active and all that stuff. But I just wanted to share with you guys a few things that I did that helped me lose weight along with exercising and eating healthy and all that stuff. Drink lots of water. I know sometimes people are just like, oh my god, that eight glass of water is just like a myth or something. But it actually is true. If you want to lose weight, you should drink a lot of water. I always bring a bottle of water with me. I try to drink two liters of water a day. I actually, well, I don't really get to two liters, but most of the times I get to like about um, 1.8 liters, I think, because I always drink, I always drink 16 ounces of water in the morning right when I wake up. And during the day, I carry a bottle of water that has about like 1.5 liters. So I'm not sure if that gets to two liters, but like it's pretty close. So I know that if you want to lose weight, you should drink a lot of water. Eat like five to six times a day. I know a lot of people say like, oh my god, eating like five times a day. No, that's just too much for me. I used to say the same thing because although before when I used to like choose, when I chose to be like healthy and stuff, I didn't eat as much. But it wasn't um, the times I ate a day, it was actually what I ate. Like, for example, now for lunch or like whenever I want to eat something, I'll have like yogurt or I'll just have fruit. Like fruit is your best friend. Like you can have fruit whenever you want and any time of the day. But before that, I'll just be like, okay, I want lunch. I'll just like to get a bag of chips or something. And um, so you should really eat like maybe like three meals. And like between those meals, you can have like a fruit salad or like a sandwich or anything that's just like healthy and that will make you full because it really it really does matter the times of uh, how many times you eat a day it fastens your metabolism and if you have a really slow metabolism then it really won't help you lose weight but when you have a fast metabolism or when you like try to speed it up this way it's a really good idea the more times you eat a day the faster your metabolism will be but it also depends what you eat of course you're not going to have like a whole, I don't know, like a bunch of food in like the morning at noon you're gonna have like, I don't know, potato chips or something. No, I don't mean that. But of course you have to eat healthy. But the healthier you eat the better for you. But you just have to eat it like and a few times a day. Well, you don't have to eat like six times a day, but like four to five is actually pretty good too. I know it may be hard for some people, but just don't drink soda. I know you might say, oh no, let me drink Diet Coke or something like that, but seriously, just don't drink it. I personally think that it helped me a lot because soda is not something that I like really, really need. Because like, I remember I stopped drinking soda around June of last year, and I was like, okay, Christmas? Like, I didn't have soda until Christmas. So I was like, okay, let me try having something uh, this Christmas. And I actually had soda again, I'm just like, mm, I don't... I just, I just I just don't feel like I need it as much like okay I love chocolate like dark chocolate is good for you too okay. so you know but just soda and just something that's like I don't really need it I'm okay with water and stuff like that you can actually have juices and stuff but I rather have the fruit because like some of the juices that you see actually aren't really that good either so I just say drop the soda like seriously just drop it out and you'll just see a huge difference Avoid late time snacks. When you wake up in the middle of the night, you're just like, oh my god, I am so hungry. Well, just don't eat. When I would wake up and I would feel like that, I would just drink water. Seriously, don't drink water until you feel like bloated or something. No. But just, whenever you drink water, you just feel like that hunger just ran away. Especially also when you're bored. Sometimes when you're bored, you're just like, oh my god, I'm so hungry right now. When I'm in that situation, I also drink water because you might be thinking, oh my god, every time I'm hungry or when I'm bored, I drink water. But no, it actually does work. Watching TV or I'm just like home alone, I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so hungry. So you're not hungry. So you just bored and you have nothing else better to do. So you just go to the fridge and check whatever's in the refrigerator. But no, you're not hungry. So just don't. Although I already said drink lots of water, there's certain times of the day that you drink water that also really makes a trick. Like for example, right when you wake up, if you drink water, at least like one glass of water, um, that really helps your metabolism to keep going so that really helps you to lose weight. Also when you drink a cup of water, 15 to 30 minutes before you eat, like you're about to have um, dinner or like breakfast or something, especially like breakfast, really helps you in losing weight also. Don't make fruits your dessert. Because I know sometimes you eat um, your food or your lunch first and then later you're just like, oh, let me have an apple like when I'm done. But no, don't do that. You should eat your fruits before you have your, your meal. Because 
I don't think I don't know if this has to do like with weight loss or anything, but I'm pretty sure I'm so sure that this is very good for health, just like in general. Because like if you eat your fruits after your meal, then your fruits won't have like the function or like if the orange gives you vitamin C or something, it's not gonna give you as much as it should have given you but if you eat it after your meal. You're supposed to have your fruits before your meal and then because then the fruits can give you the nutrition that they're supposed to give you. Don't skip breakfast. I know some people are just like, oh my god, um, I have to go to school or I have to go to work so I don't have time to have breakfast. But you should always have your breakfast because it's a really big part of the meal of the day. And if you're skipping your breakfast, then it really won't help you. You have to eat your breakfast every day because that's like the key of your, to start the day and that's what speeds up your metabolism. Because if you go the whole day without having your breakfast and then you just go for lunch or like supper or something like that, then it really won't help you. Your metabolism will like slow down and that's really not good if you want to lose weight. I'm not sure how many hours I don't eat two hours before I go to bed. I don't know if I said that right. But like, if I ate something at like midnight, then I won't sleep. I'll, I'll like sleep at like 2 o'clock in the morning because I'm not sure if I saw it on the Oprah show or on the internet because one of them said one hour and the other one said two hours before you go to bed. So I'm not really sure, but I don't eat two hours before I go to bed because normally I sleep at 10 p.m. Or 11 so after 8 o'clock I don't eat anything because it's just really bad and if you wake up in the middle of the night you're gonna wake up with that hunger pain that you really want to eat and even if you drink water it won't work sleep for enough hours a day I know some people say it's hard to sleep for eight hours but I try to sleep between seven to nine hours a day because um, if you don't sleep for enough hours although you exercise and eat clean and like all that stuff it won't really help I mean, it will help, but sleeping is like like an essential need if you want to lose weight and if you want to be fit and healthy because that's the time when your muscles are like resting and like repairing themselves. So if you don't sleep for enough hours a day, then your muscles won't be able to repair themselves. Me and motivation, because sometimes you may have the court. Uh, because sometimes you may have the courage to start, but you won't have anything to motivate you. Like, for example, I had my sister to motivate me, but sometimes people don't have other people to motivate them. Like, in my case, I remember she used to start doing Pop Pilates since, I don't know, in 2011. She started with Pop Pilates, and I used to watch her all the time, and I'm just like, like, what are you doing, you know? And then, at, at the time, she'd be like, oh, come do it with me, and I'd just be like, no, no, thank you, like, no. And when I tried it, I was like, no, this is too hard. I just can't do it. But it was just this time that she actually took me. And she was like, you know what? If you want to do this for yourself, like, she just, she just got me. And she's like, you know what? If you want something, you have to go for it. She knows I always wanted to lose weight. But she says that the only way I need to do it is if I like get up and be active and stuff like that. So after she left to uni and, like, I was just, like, here and just, like, you know what? I'm gonna do something for myself. I started doing Cassie's videos since like June. No, oh, since the July calendar she released last year. And I loved it because she's so fun. Unlike some instructors, she actually like gets up and like does it with you and she's so smiley the whole time. And that's really good because I had my sister to motivate me and then like watching somebody like Cassie, she just like brings you she just gives you this feeling that you're gonna do it with her and like she talks to you through the camera sometimes it seems as if she's like talking to you directly so it's really fun be confident confident I know sometimes people are just like no I was born fat and I grew up fat and stuff like that I was born as an overweight baby too and sometimes just like genes Cause like it's just like that the person was born like that but sometimes it's what you do that makes you gain even more weight like for me as I said like for example I didn't eat that much during the days but it was what I ate like for example I would eat only three times a day but what I ate was what made me even more overweight than I already was but something that I realized also was my parents really really helped me because I remember at the time when I used to be in grade one all the kids would have like pizzas and um subways and everything i can only have pizzas once a week um every wednesday and i remember only the next week i could have a subway 
and I used to drink white milk every day and I can only have chocolate milk once a day and I was the only kid out of the whole class or anything that would eat like that everybody else would have like normal food and stuff like that but I'm, I'm but I'm actually very grateful that my parents did that because I know if they wouldn't like I would I would still be overweight but I would still be even more than I already was I remember when we used to go to McDonald's and stuff like that they'll be like oh no like you can only have like um divide the french fries with your brother or something because he's so skinny and he needs it and I'm just like no I want to eat the whole I want to eat all the french fries and they're like no I just like give him half and stuff like that at that time I didn't really understand why they were doing that but at the time I was just like you know what I love my parents and I just saw that they're actually looking out for me and they didn't want me to like be unhappy over time and I'm just like so happy that I actually listened to them and yeah so